In this video, we're going to show you three easy ways to test a car battery. First with a multimeter, then with a modern battery tester, and finally with an old school load tester. Make sure to stick till the end to know which one is best. Let's get to it. To test a car battery with a multimeter, you only need one thing, a multimeter with DC volt settings. If your battery was hooked up to a charger, first disconnect it and turn on the headlights for a minute to remove any surface charge that might give a wrong impression of the battery's health. Then take your multimeter and turn the dial to the DC volt setting. If you have multiple volt settings, choose the one that's closest above 15 volts. Connect the red lead to the positive battery terminal and the black lead to the negative battery terminal. Make sure they have good connection. As you can see, it measures 12.76 volts, which is perfect. But this doesn't mean it is a good battery. This only means that it can hold its voltage. To test if the battery needs to be replaced, you need to perform a cranking test. Start the car with the lead still connected. When starting the car, you need to keep a close eye on the voltage drop on the screen. If it drops below 10 volts, it's best to replace the battery as this is a good indicator that your battery's health is declining. Ours stayed above 10 volts, so we're good to go. Although this basic cranking test is a good indication, it doesn't say everything and might sometimes be difficult to read. You also can't know for sure if your multimeter actually displayed the lowest voltage. It's also difficult to read the multimeter if you're doing this test alone because you need to be inside the vehicle to start the engine. You can of course place the multimeter against the windshield or even clamp on extension leads with alligator clamps so you can reach further, but it makes testing the battery more difficult than it needs to be. That's why we like to use a modern battery tester instead. They're affordable, easy to use, and tell a lot more about your battery's internal health, which can prevent you from getting stranded on the side of the road. To use them, hook them up with the red lead to the positive terminal and the black lead to the negative terminal. This will power up the screen and with most models immediately gives the voltage reading without having to do anything. Press any button and you'll get to the main menu. As you can see, these devices can test more than just your battery. They usually also test the cranking power and your car's charging system. A malfunctioning charging system is one of the main reasons people get stranded with a dead battery if this doesn't work properly. From here, select the battery test by pressing enter. Now, you need to look at your battery because everything you need to know for the next steps is somewhere written on there. First, you need to specify which type of battery it is. This is a regular flooded battery, so we're gonna select that. Next is the standard to which the car battery is rated. This one is rated in EN. And finally, you need to fill in the amount of amps it is rated at. Fill in the amount of amps that's written somewhere on the battery as we showed you before and change the number by pressing the up or down arrows. Then just press enter and the test starts. After a couple of seconds, it will give you the results. It gives several results, so let's walk you through it. It's easier than you think. The first one is the overall battery health and percentage. Ours is 88% healthy with 506 amps of the original 540 remaining, which is good. The next one is the battery charge. As we already knew from the multimeter test, the battery is at 100% and gives 12.75 volts. The last measurement is the internal resistance, which is an important indication for the battery's internal health. At 5.48, it is still a good battery. Below 5 is excellent, between 5 and 10 is good enough, and above 10 is bad. And don't worry if this is a bit overwhelming. The battery tester itself interprets these results for you and tells you if it is a good battery, needs charging, or needs to be replaced. It's super easy. And because it uses more parameters than the other two methods, it's the most accurate method. And finally, we have the old school load tester. This device, as the name suggests, tests the battery under load to see if the battery is in good health. If you've never used one of these, it might look difficult to read, but it's actually super simple. When hooking it to the battery, it immediately shows the voltage on the gauge with the numbers on top. To perform the load test, there's a 6 volt section and a 12 volt section. For the 12 volt section, you need to look at these numbers here, which are the cold cranking amps. You have to look at these to correctly read the load test. To perform the load test, you need to engage the tester for a few seconds. As you can see, the indicator drops a bit but stays in the green for the corresponding cold cranking amps, which means the battery is strong enough to perform under load and does not need to be replaced yet. 
All three methods we just showed you give a good indication of a battery's health. But which one should you use? You want to consider getting yourself an affordable battery tester because this smart device automatically analyzes your car battery and charging system's health in detail, offering much more insight than a multimeter. It is also less bulky than an old-fashioned load tester. It's also the only tester that checks the internal resistance of the battery, which helps in giving an accurate conclusion on the battery's health. You can find a link to all the testers in the description below. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. It helps out the channel a lot. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you don't miss any of our uploads. More videos are on the way, so we'll see you on the next one.